Let's take a look at partial derivatives of exponential functions. First, let's take a really quick walk down memory lane of functions of a single variable. Remember, this is what tells you the variable. Function name is f. The variable we have is x. So when we take the derivative of e to the x, we get f prime of x, which is just e to the x. You get itself. Now, what happens when that function instead, here in the exponent, has additional pieces besides the x, we still keep the function exactly like it is, but now we chain rule out the derivative of the exponent. And the reality is, we really did chain rule out the derivative of the exponent here, but that derivative is just one. And so it is the same process. You're gonna write the function over again, chain rule out the derivative of the exponent. So for this one, the first derivative becomes, rewrite the function, chain rule out the derivative of that exponent. The derivative of x is just one. The derivative of negative two x cubed is, bring the three down, negative six x squared. And multiply together, that is your derivative. Let's try this again now with this next piece. Notice we have a function 5x times a function e to the 3x, which means we have a product rule. P and Q were first and second. So the derivative of this is the derivative of the first, so the derivative of 5x is 5. Keep the second plus the first, which is 5x, times the derivative of the second, the derivative of e3 to the x is e to the 3x, rewrite it, chain rule out the derivative of that exponent. You could rewrite this, 5e to the 3x, plus multiply the 3 times 5, 15x e to the 3x. If you're using an online homework system, this is probably the one that it wants. So in general, when we're given a function whose base is e, the derivative is going to be keep the exact same function the same and then multiply it by the derivative of that exponent. Now, how's that change when you have a function of two variables? And this is where partial derivatives come in. Let's go ahead and take the first order partial derivative with respect to x. What that means is that this y is just a number. So when we take the derivative of a function of x, and this is an exponential with an x in the exponent, we rewrite the function as it is, then we chain rule out the derivative, only now we're doing it with respect to wrt, x, the variable, where y is just a number. So what's the derivative of xy with respect to x? It is just y. If you were asked to find the derivative of 17x, you would not hesitate to say that the derivative is just that coefficient. We need to get to the place where we look at two letters where one is a variable and one is a number, and we use the same exact idea. Number, really like a coefficient, comes along for the ride. So let's go ahead now and find the first partial order derivative with respect to y. We rewrite the function exactly as it is. We're going to chain rule out with respect to y. So now with respect to y, the x is the number. So y is the variable. x is the number. And when we chain rule that derivative out, we get just an x. So if you rewrite that, x e to the x y, this guy is y e to the x y. Sorry, hit that. Let's change that exponent a little bit and do first order partial derivatives again. So we want f sub x and we want f sub y. If you think you can, pause the video and try this on your own, then hit play again. Because it's an exponential, we rewrite it exactly as it is. e to the 3x squared times y. Now we're going to chain rule out the derivative with respect to x where y is just a number. If that's the case, this guy is coming along for the ride. The derivative of 3x squared is 6x and the y comes along for the ride. On this other one with the sub y, it's the first order derivative with respect to y, we rewrite the entire function the way it is. 
then we're going to chain rule out the derivative of the exponent with respect to y, where x is the number now. And so if x is the if x is the number, this whole thing is really a coefficient, and so the derivative of that is going to be 3x squared. Let's take a look at partial order derivatives and what that looks like with this exponential. So I'm going to write a little smaller. f sub x is equal to keep the function exactly the way it is, chain rule out the derivative with respect to x, so we get 6xy. Now we're going to take the first that first order and take the derivative again with respect to x, but notice we have two functions now, so we need the product rule. We'll take the derivative of the first, which is going to get e to the 3x squared y, chain rule out the derivative of the exponent with respect to x, 6xy, times the second, plus the second, sorry, this is derivative of the first times the second, plus the first, times the derivative of the second. 6xy, the derivative with respect to x is 6y. Super ugly looking. We can also do the second order partial derivative. <clears throat> Let's do the mixed one with respect to y. We still have a first and second. The first one has a y in it, the second one has a y in it, so product rule again, only now we're doing it with respect to y. So rewrite the exponential, chain rule out now with respect to y. So we get the 3x squared times it by the second guy plus the first, which was the e 3x squared y, times now the derivative of the second. The second, 6xy, with respect to y, derivative is 6x. You can do the same process to find the second order partial derivatives, f sub yy and f sub yx, but you need to start with the first order of f sub y. So that's it. Hope you're having a great day.